it's just two guys putting together a like a, a massive lineup of bands, and I, I think we, we've completely independently, mm. all, off, all, all out of their own pocket. Produced on a Wabakal and War My Land, this is the good stuff on Newcastle Live. This is good. Good. Good stuff. The good stuff. You'll be stoked to hear that Oz music icon John Farnham has just announced that his highly anticipated memoir is going to be released later this year. Got the voice, try to understand it. A Voice Inside will take us through an intimate journey through the highs and lows of his remarkable career and how he's overcome adversity. The Voice Inside by John Farnham will be released in November of this year. To pre-order your copy, head on over to newcastlelive.com.au. This Saturday, Hell Nation 4 is set to take over the last with a punk-focused lineup featuring over 20 bands. Here's the chat that we had with organiser Stephen Bissett. I want to rip straight in. This is the fourth iteration of Hell Nation, which is super exciting and a big congratulations mm-hmm. on that. So can you tell you us about some of the previous, like some of your standout moments from previous festivals? Oh, um, it's all just been one highlight, to be honest. Um, just, just I think for me, the well, one of the biggest, the major highlight is the fact that there's only, like basically, apart from the crew that we have there on the day, it's just two guys putting together a, like a, a massive lineup of bands, and I, I think we, we've completely independently, mm. all off, all, all out of our own pocket, you know. And I, and I think just the fact that we're able to get to number four and not be at each other's throats yeah. um, is is a, is a highlight in and of itself, you know. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And so, what's it been like putting this lineup together? Yeah, great. It's been um, it's uh, it, it's see for, for me that it's one of the funnest parts of of doing this is um, Fair. you know, curating. <laughs> Creating the lineup and 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 it's um it's sort of the now that the word is sort of getting out a little bit um outside of Newcastle, it's becoming a little bit easier. Like more bands are approaching us to play, which is fantastic. Wow. Um and and a lot of younger bands as well, which is great because we get to get like the idea is is you know we want to get some bands with profiles and pair them with with young bands yeah. and you know see if we can sort of set some people down similar paths you know so so yeah it's um for, but for this one it's been really good because um for, for me um one of my favorite Australian bands of all time is Radio Birdman and just like well we obviously didn't get Radio Birdman for Hell Nation we got the New Christ which is um you know an abs- absolute coup and a bucket list one for me so yeah that that was a that was a, you know, definitely one to tick off. Yeah, absolutely huge. Um, why do you think it's so important to put on like punk festivals that are curated within the genre? Well, I think it's, um, you know, I mean, if you look at what's going on on the larger scale with a lot of these festivals that are either like falling over and, mm. or you know, a lot, lot of there's a lot of issues that are that are. Uh, that are happening right now in sort of the the sort of major scale music festivals, and I, th- I think that there's sort of provides smaller operators like us um, a little bit of an opportunity to offer something a little bit different, and also yeah. something that's extremely cost effective. I mean, because re- realistically, um, you know, there's not re- very many other places where you can go and see twenty odd bands for for thirty bucks. You know, yeah. um, and you know, we and and we're still able to pay everyone mm-hmm. adequately. So, so I think uh, I, I think that that's why it's important. It's be- and because it fosters, it helps to foster a community um, as well, um, and and it also helps to establish links. So, you know, say for example, we've got bands coming from coming up from Melbourne. We've got Newcastle bands, Sydney bands, Brisbane mm-hmm. bands um bands from the snowy mountains and just the the idea of like putting them together in the hopes that 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 can sort of help foster it like or or further to further cement the scene if you know what i mean like to sort of give give, and to give like make newcastle a little bit of a focal point because i mean realistically we always have been quite and not just in sort of punk and sort of rock and roll music but just in general it's always been a a, very much a a musical town and i think that Mm. Um, shows like this and 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 other shows like and, and, and other festivals like West Best Blockfest and, and stuff go a hell of a long way to sort of cementing that reputation. 
Yeah, definitely. Now, I'm sure this will be like picking children, but um, I'd love <laughs> to know who are some of the bands that you're really excited to see this Saturday? Oh, okay. Well, obviously, yeah, obviously the <laughs> New Christs. Um, but um, like, is, I actually, the, la- the last time I saw the New Christ, my band played with them at the Newcastle Hotel, which was about probably about seven years ago. That's crazy. So, um, yeah, so I'm really looking forward to seeing them. Um, the pingers, I've got to say, mm-hmm. um, I haven't seen the pingers yet, but I've, uh, I, I can't wait. Cause they're one of the most energetic and exciting bands I've seen in a long time. Cool. Uh, like online or, you know, um, who else? Let me see. I went, the Owen guns are always great. Um, Sean up the front always put, you know, he gets the shirt off and gets the gut out and like <laughs> loves to you know rub it in people's faces, which is always very <laughs> For some, it might be a bit confrontational, but for others, it's a, a, a fun time. Um, but also another personal, on a personal note, um, no reason. Um, they're uh, like a 90s punk band that were at Newcastle, very, very inf- influential in the Newcastle scene. Mm. And they very rarely play, haven't played for quite a long time. So to get those guys back. Uh, and because and they and, and the last was one of their haunts, you know, they used to play at the last quite a bit. So it's, it's great to see that happening again. But yeah, as you said, they they are all I, like it's basically for my money, it's all killer, no filler. Um, Absolutely. I, I, every band, every band on the bill, like Mirathon, a um, mm. little bit of, you know, zombie apocalypse, um, bone crunching metal. You know, it's it's great. It's it's And, and that's the other thing about this. It's it's uh, what while we do sort of operate within that sort of punk genre, it is quite diverse. Mm. Um, like we will have, like for example, last year we had the Havelocks, you know, who are quite, you know, very much sort of Kinks inspired indie rock. And and the the idea being that like all all of these bands were coming up to me saying, who was who were they? Like mm. that, they were really great. Like bands you would never have thought that they would have been into that. But they're like, no, we love this band. They're really good. So, you know that that that's another reason why we sort of like to do this. Throw throw in a few little curveballs to to keep people guessing. I guess. <laughs> yeah. No. It sounds like a fantastic mixed bag, and um, I'm really keen. What time are doors? Uh, well, the door. The first band will be on. Uh, the first artist, Alana Mundy, will be opening proceedings at eleven thirty. The 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 ungodly hour of 11 30 a.m but <laughs> it's going to be well worth it because she's always a treat um and uh yeah so we go from 11 30 till 12 12 midnight yeah right. um non-stop non-stop all day there'll be food on offer you know we might have a few little surprises here and there um but yeah it's always a good time at the last and and you know um dunny and every all the staff at the last are great and, and we really appreciate the fact that you know this is this this will be the third one that we've put on there now and, mm. and they've been completely supportive the whole time and we, we couldn't thank them enough yeah absolute legends well look congratulations again and uh i'm super keen for hell nation Four happening this saturday thanks for your time wonderful thanks see you there That's all we have for you today. Big old congratulations to the team behind Hell Nation 4. Be sure to go and grab your tickets. Thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you tomorrow from 4pm for more of the good stuff.